Hello, this is Caitlin Austin, and I decided on prompt one for this video. To explain the concept of selection on Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, I decided to use one of the most obvious examples of selection I could find, which is breeding domestic animals, specifically horses. This is a fictional quarter horse ranch I invented to display selection in breeding. This rancher found his original stock untouched in Mexico. Because this herd was secluded and there was no natural predators to horses in Mexico, we can assume that the population was in hardy Weinberg equilibrium, meaning that there is a large population of horses, random mating among the herd, no selection from humans or nature, no migration, and no mutations among the horses. In real life, this is almost impossible for a population. This is where selection comes into play. This breeder looks for several favorable qualities that he wants his horses to have and selects his breeding stock appropriately. If any horses display unwanted traits, like a fear of cattle or kissing spine, those horses will not be bred. Let's focus on the trait that the breeder deems most important, temperament, and see what selecting for calmer horses does genetically. Looking back at the original stock, we can see that a majority of the horses had a mild temper type temperament, sorry, and a genotype of big T, little t. This gives us the frequency of big T and the frequency of little t before selection. Obviously, the rancher wants to breed for gentle horses, so the little t, little t type is most favored with a fitness of 1.0. The wild horses only receive a fitness of 0.23. After only one generation of selection, the frequencies of the genotypes are altered so that the frequency of the gentle horses increases while the frequency of the mild and wild horses decrease. This also affects the frequency of big T and little t, which decrease and increase respectively. This forces the population out of hardy weiberg equilibrium and causes directional selection, selection towards the little t allele. This directional selection will continue as long as the rancher keeps selecting for the same traits. And as always, the information from this video comes from Hallbuck and Jones Genetics 311, 311 Principles of Genetics lecture slides from NC State University. And the images um, are not mine and can be found at these websites in this order. Thank you.